hello and welcome, Rito Gaming here and this is Justice Monsters 5. In this video we are going to be looking at how to re-roll in Justice Monsters 5. Now before you consider re-rolling, obviously I think a lot of people have thought about this especially when they first done a tutorial and they've done their like 11 spins and they've just got crap like me. I've re-rolled like 5 times now. So I thought I'd just record this video for people who are considering it and want to know how to do it. So, first off, if you want to keep your account, make sure you go to Options and then you go Transfer. You can then sign in with one of these, Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Mixy, I think that's Mixy, and that will back up your data to there. Then later on you can go and bring that data back if you decide that you've pulled too many, you can't be bothered anymore and you just want to go back to your old account. Once you've backed up your data, if you want to, you then need to exit the game and go into the settings menu in Android. It'll be similar in iOS. Let me just go back out of these because I'm sort of skipped ahead here where I've already been doing it. In Android, you want to go to settings, storage, internal, then apps, find Justice Monsters 5, and then you're going to want to clear the data. For some reason, I have to do it three odd times here because it doesn't clear it don't know why normally I did it first time my phone was just been a little buggy so come on hurry up in time come on there we go finally did it my phone was just being slow so that's the data done now we launch justice monsters 5 back up again and you will have to download the data again it's not that much for the game so that's fine so I'm not going to make you sit through the download or whatever I'm just going to show you that it's downloading you will have to do tutorial again yay I'm not going to make you watch that either seriously that would just be horrendous Now, as the download's nearly finished, it will be once the video skips, you'll see that when you start up, it will give you an option to play or transfer. Once you sign the agreement that nobody reads anyway. So if you wanted to transfer your data back after you, say, been doing this a few times and you haven't gotten anything good, you can just transfer it. I'll show you what the menu looks like. It looks exactly the same as the one when you transferred it to Twitter or Google+. We go, you just log in again. So press cancel and it will bring us to the name tag thing. Put whatever in you want here, you can always change it later on. It's going to put in Rido Gaming again. And then it's tutorial time. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Time to skip that shit. Ain't nobody got time for that. And now we're back. So, we've done the tutorial. If we go to our mail, you'll see that we have a bunch of items in there from the event. Or the startup campaign or whatever. I don't know how long you can do this. Normally the items stay there for a couple of weeks, maybe a month maximum. If you go to achievements, you should have a few achievements in there through the tutorial. Even if you've just been sort of tapping the screen. So that should give us, what, 374 gold orbs? So that's what 15 draws ish so do the 11 spin and a couple of single spins in this one I did actually get a super rare but it's a pretty shitty super rare it's not the one I want for me I'm either gonna try and get uh, Shiva or Bahamut I would be happy with either of those two the other ones meh, not so much anyway do 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 go through this uncommon Rare, bloody blah. Anyway, you've seen the video now, so I don't particularly need to keep talking. It's just the same. If you don't get what you want, then just rinse and repeat until you do get it. Eventually, you will get what you want. It's inevitable. It's just how many times you can be bothered to do it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment for more Justice Monster 5 videos. I nearly said Mobius then. <laughs>